I'm really excited about this one. So Caleb and I came up to Poli Poli. It's a little bit up Haleakala, the volcano here on Maui. We've got a C200 that I'm using for a shoot with a 50 millimeter uh, cinema lens. So tried to get this super expensive setup and compare that with the iPhone 11 Pro Plus. Pro Plus, just to see, can we get some cinematic quality from what the iPhone is putting out now and compare them to the uh, to an actual cinema camera, cinema setup. Do you see that $10,000 difference, especially when you're looking at it on YouTube? So without further ado, let's just cut to some shots and uh, see if we can compare that. I got love tied around my waist. I got a big imagination. I got the world and I got you. I got the world and I got you. Caleb is so intimidating so that I can't, I can't say what I want to say. And I just, I need a little coffee break. Did I hope that? I just turned out from the season. I hope it did too. We're hoping that this, <laughs> could you imagine if we shot this whole thing and it didn't work? <laughs> well, I mean, I it'll work, but I mean. If it doesn't look like, cool. I do this professionally. <laughs> yeah. So now that you have seen the side by side uh, comparison of this cinematic rig, uh, the cinema rig versus the iPhone, we also put together a little B roll montage, um, more of a run and gun, get out there and shoot cinematic sequence to also show kind of the difference of, of what it will look like. Can you get the same quality and, and what is that difference? Let's check it out. So before we jump into the bus to kind of break down everything, give you my thoughts, I just wanted to say thank you to Lens Rentals for sponsoring this video. Make sure to check them out if you have any kind of gear rental needs. They are amazing. The customer service is awesome when you you know, pick up the phone, you actually get to talk to a real human. It's not automated. Yeah, customer service is awesome, and their gear selection is great too. And I've got a little promo code linked in the video. So thank you to them for putting this together. Let's go jump into the bus and give kind of the breakdown of everything. So now that we are back in the bus, we can kind of go over a few things. And there's two main points that I really want to make. Uh, and, and the reason why I made this video and those two points may seem completely contradictory or say the opposite thing, but I'm kind of doing this for a purpose. And so the first point is now that we have gone over the footage, gear matters, gear does matter. And this isn't always a hard and fast rule, but you kind of get what you pay for. And so if you go out and buy something super cheap, you're probably not going to end up with as great of footage as if you went out and got something expensive as that will usually hold its value. Again, 
Not a hard and fast rule, but I think it is important to remember that gear does matter. You can't show up on a professional shoot with an iPhone. Sometimes you do need to have that expensive gear, whether you're buying or you're renting. And you can see this in the, the difference between the, the cinema camera footage versus the iPhone footage. The quality of the Canon C200 is just so much better. You can see it, again, just overall image quality and the depth of field in the dynamic range. And what I can really see and that you can't necessarily is while editing, there's just so much more flexibility in shooting raw than with this compressed image that the iPhone puts out. But to go on the complete flip side of things, the point number two that I wanted to make is that gear doesn't matter. And what I mean by this is that the iPhone is putting out amazing quality right now. It's unreal what you can get from this tiny little phone. You can shoot 4K 60 a couple years ago. That's just unheard of, especially in a phone. And so it just goes to say, and what I try to constantly harp on that story is most important and everybody has a story to tell. And I believe that the world needs to hear that story. And so don't let gear get in the way of telling that story. You can create amazing content with whatever kind of gear you have. So don't fall into the trap that uh, I've gotten into before of, oh, if I just had this piece of gear, or if I just had this camera, I'd be able to create so much better quality content or then I'll start working on things. No, go out and start shooting now. Start telling a story, start creating, and eventually you can build up your your gear arsenal but that's not the most important thing story is always the most important thing so the, why did i put out this video it's one just to see how crazy it is that iphones have progressed the technology for a phone has progressed but also just to make that case that you can go out and tell your story share you know these youtube videos especially on youtube uh, with whatever you've got. So with that being said, as always, let me know in the comments below what you thought, if you could tell that there was a huge difference, what you shoot on to tell stories here on YouTube. And make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. It really does help. And I'll see you on the next video.